When we think of Life University here in Marietta, we think of the world's largest chiropractic program, which is why you may be surprised to learn about another area of education they now offer, positive psychology. Joining us now is Brendan Ozawa Da Silva. Did I say it right? Yeah. Associate Professor of Psychology. Thank you so much for joining us. This is so Thank interesting you. to me. What is positive psychology? That's a great question. Um, so. Positive psychology is really based on the premise that goodness and excellence are as fundamental to the human condition as disorder, distress, and disease. So, as, so psychology as a discipline for a long time is focused on what are, what's mental illness, what are mental disorders, and how do we treat them, and we have really big, thick manuals like the DSM to talk about that. But people had neglected to some extent what makes human life worth living, so compassion, gratitude, pro-sociality, uh, integrity, forgiveness. And so positive psychology is really an effort to focus attention on that and, and in a scientific way to investigate what do these things bring to our life. And what we're finding is that they bring great things to our life. There are health benefits, uh, there are social benefits, and that actually by cultivating the positive, sometimes you can prevent some of the negative things from arising. Is this, a, is this like the power of positive thinking? Is it that simple? It's a little more complicated than that. So positive thinking, um, it's really trying to understand the mechanisms through which when we cultivate some of these positive things, um, uh, what, what, what brings about change. So mm. positive thinking uh, can play a role there, certainly, but sometimes it's also tough work. Why was this a good fit for life, university? Well, the very approach to the mind of look, focusing on the positive and not taking a disease model approach to the mind is really consonant with life's ethos. So life is founded on the pr principle of vitalism. It started as a chiropractic college, although it's now expanded to include full undergraduate and graduate programs like psychology programs. And the approach of the university to health is really focusing on the body's own resilience, its own ability to heal itself, to flourish, and to achieve uh, the greatest optimal performance that it can. And so positive psychology fits so perfectly with that. So what's the course study? The, we have one of only three master's programs in the country in wow. positive psychology. And we have three tracks, the general track, a coaching track, which focuses on positive psychology coaching, which is becoming very big. And we have a track that I direct, the track in contemplative science and secular ethics. Okay, you gotta explain that one. Sure, sure. <laughs> So if we want to talk about how to cultivate compassion, gratitude, integrity, forgiveness, then we don't have to start from scratch because the world's religious and philosophical and contemplative traditions have been really interested in that from a, for a long time. The only difference is they didn't approach it scientifically from the perspective of psychology and neuroscience. So we have the ability to draw from those traditions and what we call that emerging discipline is contemplative science. So what does meditation, yoga, contemplative prayer, how does that change you? but not from a religious viewpoint, from a secular viewpoint. So we call that secular ethics. Secular, we don't mean anti-religious or anything against religious. We mean from the, uh, a basic common human approach, what brings us together rather than what separates us. And so it's really exciting that we can talk about ethics in this new way uh, on the basis of what unites us as humanity rather than what divides us. Are you us. seeing this catch on? Are you seen a lot, I mean, I didn't know anything about this. So fascinating. Absolutely. I think this focus is really taking off, and that's why I think students who go through our program really have a lot of opportunities for uh, what they can do with their degrees. So just as, just two examples, we're partnering with the company Etsy.org, uh, which uh, um, Etsy.com is, is a big mm -hmm. online um, a venue and Etsy.org is their is their nonprofit uh, arm, and they partnered with us to to talk about how we could cultivate things like compassion, integrity, a sense of interdependence among young executives who are getting started. So the business community is really turned on to this. Atlanta Public Schools just mandated this past year that in K through 12 schools they're mandating social and emotional learning. So children learning social skills, social intelligence, emotional intelligence, which is what we're teaching. Now now all of a sudden it's mandated in Atlanta's public schools. So we need experts, and, and we don't have them right now in society. Our degree program is producing those experts. Wow, this would be a great thing if you're not quite sure what to go into to explore this. Because it's Absolutely. like you said, a lot of job will be a lot of jobs out there it's for really, this. It's really catching on. This is fascinating. Thank you. Come back. Thank I you I want to so hear much. more about this. If you'd like to learn more about the master's degree program in positive psychology at Life University, go to their website, life.edu slash academics.